so it's uh, 5 30 already I had woken up at 5 uh, I am ready to drive to Carson have some fun go root for the Mexican heavyweights uh, and you know it's a big event that I haven't been in a boxing fight over a year because of this whole pandemic so hopefully you know things go as planned and I'll be recording clips in here for this type of vlog that I'm gonna be doing okay so I'm here ready to pick up my friends my friend and his brothers we're gonna go it's gonna be four of us total and let's do this so here at the hotel waiting for the fights uh, to start probably doors open at, at 1 p.m. I think uh, and get something to eat before the fight and then I'm gonna start recording some videos when I get there uh, probably can hit there around 5 30 and I'm excited for this uh, hopefully the fight you know meets expectations I do feel like it's gonna be entertaining for however it lasts I don't know if it's gonna be a knockout uh, but I do think Ruiz will win this fight but I know that Arreglas won't give it everything he has and it's gonna be two styles that you know just feed into each other and they can be an epic fight for a heavyweight uh, division see you guys soon off topic I was at Rodeo Drive and I had to take a picture of these two cars this Lambo but that Shelby Crowbar right there classic back to boxing though here at the event about to enter Reese versus Arriola let's get it and we just seen Mikey Garcia and Sean Porter right there three division world champion Abner Mares. And we are reporting live from Andy Ruiz versus Chris Arreola are in Carson City. Outdoors. Let's go! So here we are at some of the undercards fights. I know I wasn't able to get so much clear shots since I was pretty far away. And then since it's not outdoor venue, uh, the poles on the corners kind of get in the way. So I wasn't able to get some clear shots. I have to edit a lot of the things out. But here's some small clips of these fights. This is one of the fights that I felt that the referee stopped it in the wrong time. I felt he could have stopped it earlier, but when he stopped the fight, uh, the other fighter was starting to fight back and I just felt like the timing where he stopped it was wrong uh, but you know that's boxing funny translation we really hear some dude was telling him matalo cabron which means kind of telling him you know kill him you know uh, but you know some people were screaming some crazy stuff out there and it was pretty fun um, just in a little insane it was my first time being in an outdoor venue uh, so it just felt a different atmosphere. Uh, yeah. Igora's defense was pretty horrible here. Uh, it reminded me of like a crappier version of Tyson Fury. He was making a lot of movement jerks and um, it wasn't working out. The jab just kept him away. When you start hearing that Mexican anthem, you know things are about to go down. I don't know how much I could show about that though. So I'm gonna cut it short. 